What's up, everybody? I'm Mike. I'm Nick. We're the Brothers Murph, and you know what? About a month or two ago, we had this really fateful moment occur. Hey, do you think we could play all of our board games in one week? No. Okay. So from that one innocuous question, a whole world was born where we could not stop thinking about it. Mm -hmm. Can we do that? Do you think we really? could do it? We, we could get it done? We could probably like, because we pre-shuffle cards. Yeah, and then we started in inadvertently strategizing the whole thing. What can we do to speed up time? What can we do to cut out a couple hours here, cut out a couple minutes there? And we kept going over and over and over in our heads and we're talking about it for weeks and eventually we studied, damn it, we're gonna do it. So we're gonna try to play every game we own in one week. So you may be asking yourself, well, how many games do you have? Well, we have a little over 200 games that we would need to get played in the week, which is a lot. Oh God. So 200 games in a week, that means we need to average around 30 games a day, which is a lot, but we have some ideas of how to make that work. So one thing that's really great is that we're gonna be playing every game we own at two player, which is typically a quicker way to play the game. Also, if there's ever a chance to play a short or long version of the game, we're gonna play the short version. If there's basic versus advanced, we're playing the basic version. And expansions, never really heard of those. We're playing base games only. But then Nick thought of the greatest piece of strategy we could ever use, and it goes a little something like this. We decided to preset up our games. We realized that setup and takedown is going to be the real killer of this challenge. If each game in our collection takes five minutes to set up a takedown, which let's be honest, that's probably generous. That means every 12 games, we are losing an hour to set up a takedown. Over 200 games, that means we're gonna lose around 17 hours to set up and takedown. Oh God. And so we've gone through every single one of our games and preset them up for two players. If there's cards we need to take out in a two player game, we've already taken them out. If there's tiles we need to add in, they're already added in. Player pieces, starting resources, starting money, all that is in bags and ready to go. Hey, uh, so check out Arboretum right here. Arboretum, if you're playing a full player count game, has like 10 species of trees, but in a two player game, you're only gonna be using six species. So what we've done is we've gotten all the cards we need with this piece of paper. So if you get to the paper, you know this is everything we need. It's shuffled up. We can start playing this game in about four seconds. And the last thing we've done is just practice. We've practiced playing games fast. Now when we practice, we haven't been going breakneck speed because we can't possibly keep that pace up over the span of a week. So we've been trying to find a really good, fast cruising speed. So now you've seen us do all these preparations and things, there might be one more thing that you're wondering. Why are you doing this? Because this is what the people are asking for. Are we? It's like the moon. Why go to the moon? Because it's there. We went to the moon to spite the commies. There are a whole bunch of political reasons why we went there. We're doing it for the view. Fine, you happy? Yeah, all right, that checks out. I mean, I'm curious, I'm watching. So really, why are we doing it? Because why not? There's so many people out there who say why to different things. So why not? Why not? So you know what? We're gonna try. We have to play 200 games in one week. 200 games in seven days. 200 games in how many weeks? I carry that uh, 168 hours. And 400 minutes, how many minutes are in that? No, not enough. Yeah, it's not enough, we know Regardless that. of the minutes, you know what? We're gonna try. Because what if we did it? What if we did it? What if it worked? So we hope that you'll join us on this adventure as wacky as it is. Come on this journey with us and let's do it. It's day one. It's day one, morning. We've got a little bit of coffee in us. Yeah. We've taken the dogs out. They're yeah. ready to go. And we decided to start this marathon off on a roll by playing every roll and right. Flip and fill and whatever clip cut parks is. Which is at we, once. We discussed before, like, should we try and play like all at once? They were kind of like, no, yes, no. And then we realized that Fiverr Findin', which is this game right here, starts with a five. So it actually would have been the first game we would have had to play anyway. Yeah, so mine as so well. then you were just like, let's just do them first. Let's do them first <laughs> because then, them if first. nothing else, after the first day, we look impressive because we, yeah. we've artificially inflated we our had, numbers. We had like 18 rolling rights. Something like that. So if we can get these done in a couple hours, our thought is that. We could start at a head start. Take the rest of Monday And so off. when we're playing giant things and it slows us down, hopefully this gives us a bit of an edge in the beginning. This is this is what this is about. This is about just giving ourselves odds here. Yeah. We're playing the odds. I don't know how we're going to do this because I don't have room. Me out. But, you know, it's This fun. is stressing me out. I think I'm going to do mine in a pile. Yeah. I think I'm just going to do mine in a pile. 
I'm going to do a, sp a spread situation. So we're going to see if this works. Um, and yeah, I'm excited, man. Let's do it, man. Let's do it. Let's start. Playing all your roll runs at one time is really hard. Do not do it. This is a bad idea. It was a bad idea. Now quickly, I'm gonna take this part of the time lapse to go over some parameters that we have for this challenge. One, we have to play every game in our collection that we're able to play at two players. We have to play all of the games correctly to the best of our abilities, and we're not allowed to throw games or concede early for the sake of time. So we have to play all the games correctly, and we have to play them all the way through to the end. Bam. Boom. That's that the last that. one. Oh. What time? It was, we, we so it was four Marcus. hours and, uh, oh gosh, what was it? Four hours and... 9.13 is when we started. Yeah, Matt, my brain is mush already. Four hours and a little bit more than that. I'm not gonna lie, that took longer than I thought. advocate for hoarding at all, but just know that when you get an expansion, you're like, I'm never gonna need the base game components again. Maybe think before you throw stuff out because this is our monster board for Abyss now that I just made. I don't have any visitors, dude. This is not going well for me. The judge cards are gone now. Enough to be just a little bit strange. But get wrecked. So you're gonna do the same. And my product is going to be a picture frame. It's a picture frame. Here's the thing: you want your picture frame to be nice and tight in there. You don't want some rattling around crap like you that. You know, you're an artist. Especially, yeah, my art cannot be batted around. There's worse things oh. when you have a nice drawing and a corner of a board gets mad. It's horrible. So ours, when the picture frame comes in, it goes. There's nothing. Oh. It's happening again. You're bleeding out bleeding again. Bleeding out again. I'm bleeding out again. What is going on? Nick's had now two nosebleeds today. You might have seen our tweet about it. Nick is working at such a high level. He's like 11 in Stranger Things where we're doing like a great feat and he's just bleeding a little bit, but he just keeps going anyway. That's what we are. We're the Millie Bobby Brown of board games. I'm trying, man. Oh, I know, is that we on a schedule, my Four French fries. Yep, your score is the same. Four, uh, the maid from the Jetsons. That's it. And that's day one in the books. That's the whole week. We played 39 games 39 and we're games. retiring forever now. We're like about 13 and a half hours or so. 13 and a half hours in. We got a little bit later start than we were anticipating mm -hmm. today, but uh, how do you feel about it? Real quick. I, I feel good about the marathon. I'm, pretty, I'm really, now it's hitting me that we've stopped. Yeah, I'm like, real tired. Today, we really wanted to push and try to get as far ahead as we can because tomorrow we're starting the seas. We, we got have, to the seas. I'm so proud that we, we got have, there a lot of games in the seas. And so tomorrow we're just gonna try and get through the seas. We but have like 24, 23 more sea yeah. games to play and, and a, lot a lot of them are big, big yeah. but it's gonna be great. Yeah, I'm pumped. I'm very tired, but joyous and happy. I'm ready to start day two. Shouts out to streamers, our, our chat, by the way, because streaming gave us a big boost of yes. energy that we really needed to, like we got a lot we more done drag, yeah. than we wouldn't have done if we weren't streaming today. So. Uh, that was super helpful. So shouts out to uh, everyone that hangs out in our chat. That, yeah, that got that us was, through the first day. So it really did. Well done on the first day, my man. All right. Let's start day two. All right. Three twenty-two. Three twenty-two. Three twenty-two is when we started. We're trying to keep track. We started. Three twenty-two. Three twenty-two. Okay. Uh, two money. Two money for two. Kansas State Forest Wind Stream Roan Cliff Bat Buck Buck Lock it in. 
update. Let's lock in cap, that salary cap. I know what you're talking about, baby. Gladiator for two. One. Chad is nothing. I said it. Two, In three, four. Week. Bye. Nothing. Think They're nothing. Six. Do I have to pay to offload? Or you yes. guys are going to actually really lose it. Ten. Like, when are they going to lose? It's already lose? gotten weird. It's gotten a little weird today. A little slightly, you know, small already. amount of weird. Day twos. You guys start running behind near the end of the week. Maybe someone happens to break in and steal one cube of games. Two, maybe? You just want to do cubes, you know? <laughs> hey, uh, I'll make a list of um, cubes that could go. <laughs> These cubes uh, must go. Just in case, I'm not saying you or someone else gonna end up in the area, but just in case. Good work out. <sighs> Two pants, 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 pants. Today was a big day. Yes, it was. It was. A lot. Like the numbers weren't as impressive. No, no. Yes, they were because the the numbers well, I'm themselves. About, I'm talking about sheer yes. the sheer new. You're looking at straight data with no information. Thirty nine versus twenty four seems like a big difference. But the the, the this is the twenty four. Twenty four versus any of twenty four from last yesterday. Freaking Crystal Palace, Chimera Station, Castle Burgundy, Circadian's First Light, Colbert and Castel, Carpe Diem, Clans of Caledonia, Crown of Amara, freaking uh, Dinosaur Island, Clank. And Caverna, not to mention all the other games, but those were all bigger. Beefy. Not like the biggest games ever, but like beefy games, you know? Big enough for us. Yeah. Plenty big enough for us. Yeah. So it's like, today was a good day. I'm very tired, but yes. today I felt like we got more in a stride today. Yeah. Just cruised it. Just cruised it, you know, and it was and it was great. It's we're falling falling in we're falling into kind of a pattern. The morning goes well. Around two to five, we start getting we start getting real tired. We start it's hitting rough. that slump, and then we stream, and it really picks us up again. Yeah, and, and then, then and then we with, cruise we kinda, into the night. Yeah, we just kind of drift into a nice yeah. uh, nice inky abyss of night. Yeah. So that was day two, man. It's day two. Let's get some rest. <sighs> let's drink some tea. Yeah. Let's get ready for day three. Let's do it. Two turns after this. Who let the dogs loose? You got fireball. Oh, that was really close. Oh, Nick, you only got to hit it once. It's not gonna happen. By today's stack than yesterday's stack. I'm way weirdly more impressed by today's stack. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. The this C's was were nothing. This is some games right here. Gingerbread House. That's some heavy that's weight stuff. That's some good, good. Here's the thing. We did it though. We reached. We got 37 games today, or 36. Turns out we actually played almost one more matched game. our first day high. Yeah, almost matched our first day high, and we got to 100 games. So. We have officially played a hundred games in three days. Oh yeah. That means over the span of the next four days, the only thing we have left is a, is a hundred and three. So now, if granted, we already did this many in three days. We should be able to do it in four days. There are some big ones there, but we should be able to. Some rough stretches, but over the next four days. But same time, this was hard. 
This, the this was one, there's a Eclipse. lot of these kind of small games. We use these to kind of fill out a the, lot more big ones. But there were, I mean, Feast Great for Western Own, Trail, Western Trail, Hentes, I mean, Dungeon freaking, Pets, Grand uh, Austria Hotel, a lot of big games, Eclipse, Ecos, Energy Empire. All those are medium to heavyweight games. So I'm, I'm pumped. I'm pumped. I feel really good. I'm tired. Let's get some sleep. Oh yeah, please. We'll have some coffee. So Maybe we're going, to, we're going to start a little bit later in the morning because we did stay up a bit. So it's a bit it's past one it's o'clock, one o'clock yeah. in the morning. So we need so. to, we're going to rest up a little extra, but we wanted to try to get to the hundred mark on the third day. We thought it'd be really fun. We freaking did so it. So we did it. So we will see you tomorrow. say your early Justin Bieber career trivia is I'm more like later Bieber that's not gonna help us here it's not gonna help us 15 year old Justin Bieber let's trivia. do it Jay three Nick I need to answer the third question from that please Mike yeah what type of table does Justin roll over in his baby video what kind of table what kind of table what kind of tables are there what kind of table would you roll over in a video a table, a times table. He's a child doing math. No, a pool no, table. A pool table. Yeah, 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 no, no, table. you said times table. No, 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 no. You said times said, table. What language does Justin speak besides English? French? Yeah, that's stupid. Because he's Canadian, I know. Hey. God, Mike. We're losing so much time. Mike, finish Justin's favorite saying. Single and ready to mingle, oh, baby. baby. Hey. That's his mean? favorite saying. Where is everyone? Whose favorite saying is, is everybody... single and ready to mingle, you sociopath? Yeah. In Justin's runaway love lyrics, where is Justin searching? His heart? Down below. In a cave. On a ladder? During scuba. Bird watching. Yep. <laughs> That's <What>? high though. <laughs> You in the life, Nick. Roll move ahead if you were born in March, April, or May, or December. December? <laughs> <laughs> March, April, May, or in December. all of the spring months are also December. <laughs> Go for it. Describe your hero. I'm Luke. Everyone who thumbed up this video. Thank you for summing up this video. Subscribe. Oh, too. That's, get that's, it. that's double points. That's, that's double points. That's double movement. Oops. <laughs> 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 Mike just goes bam and he slides one for <laughs> you and your life. Colgate? Yeah, baby, for the win! I made it backstage! How much time do we do that in? This game would have been hour easy. This is like, this is one of those games where like we open up, we're like, man, we don't know this game is what we thought, and we just have to spend a lot of time in the book. Thankfully, you're here. Done. Day four. Mid deliveries done. Ooh, Finally. Epic games here. <laughs> yeah, day four is done. We played 34 games, I think. Yep. Um yeah, it was a good day. This day was was a bit easier in terms of not not a ton of like super heavy games. We definitely had some, some bigger ones. Powders was Kingdom Network. The games Oleon. are getting bigger, if nothing else. Or our spines have compressed and we're getting yeah, smaller. We're getting harder and harder to see over this. Uh -huh. But nonetheless, we did good. We did get to the other shelf, which is what we wanted today. Fucking crush. So we're now in the second half and we're on the second half of the shelves. And it yes. just, it was a big, it was a moment to shift over. It feels good to and, not be on yeah. that shelf over there. Because that shelf is thing. bigger. So this shelf feels nice. Yeah, so we had a good day. It was it was it was crushing. We're still rolling, still ahead. It's been rad. Um, still having a great time. 
Yeah, Absolutely. this is awesome. I can't wait for tomorrow, honestly. Yeah, we got some big stuff. We're going to start off with some Gloomhaven and Lord of the Rings Journeys in Middle-Earth. Get some of the epic stuff out of the way that we've been kind of waiting on because they're just large boxes. Yeah. But uh, I think first we should get some sleep, rest up, yeah. and come back and just fight some monsters. Yeah, let's do it. See you then. So we had a lot of people asking us when we were prepping, how would we handle giant campaign games like Gloomhaven? And it's simple, giant campaigns are often broken up into small scenarios. So we're just gonna play one scenario and count it as a play. I'm, I'm, I did school play, now I'm doing amateur play, Mike. Oh, nice. Yeah. When does it turn into high class erotica? Uh, the fourth step, not the third step. The third nice, step nice. is uh, children's theater, and okay. then high oh, class right. erotica. right, you gotta, you gotta go through that before you, you go gotta, there. You, you gotta, cannot, go, you gotta go through the ringer, man. Cannot you gotta mix go those ringer, things. Long term happiness, boom, obviously. Time, I'm like, oh. I need to pay a book, I need to pay a thing. What happens, Mikey, you got your stuff? The thing was, I forgot that my boat needed to get varnished. It did, all day. I forgot to varnish it, so I'm losing my boat. <laughs> I'm not gonna keep it. I'm out of the boat game, folks. I don't need it. I'm out of the boat game, man. You're meditating, dude. I'm meditating. You, you know meditating. I realized that material possessions are not They're the not thing. for you, dude. Yeah. yeah. The only thing that is, is, yeah, the Lord's the only thing for you, man. You know what I mean? Two, two three, four, four five, six. six. I'm dead, <laughs> sir. I keeled over, man. Keeled over before I can marry Baba Joe. I died. Oh, My name ain't Wienerhead. My, his name ain't <laughs> Wienerhead. That's the thing. Um, oh, you're short. Oh, I moved down one. Where am I? Where am I? You were over here. Where? Over here. Where? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Guess who didn't fall off the tower, guy? No, I got my cool floppy burger hat. Get a little horny. Puns. Okay. Our prop, our prop bin is too close to Mike. Yeah. It's too close to Mike for a stream. It's uh, 2 o'clock, 2 a.m. We are very tired. We really were trying to ensure that this thing happens. We're in that crucial yeah. period of like, we're close, but oh, what if we don't make it? Yeah. You know, so this is the first, I would say, like, legit hard day. Not that, like, I didn't have a good time today. I did, yeah. but this was the first I time. Day four was going to be rough, and like this one, yeah. I'm like, oh no, this day five is, is has been tough. Day five was hard, man. I'm really tired, and like, yeah, day five is, some of it was just like extraordinary situations and stuff like that with like the shelf and stuff, but just, you know, how we had a lot of big games today that we had to get through. We just had a lot of stuff we had to do. You mean that moment where you're like, hey, 200 games is a lot, man. 200 games is a lot, man. You ever think about how many games that is? So that like we have less than 40 games to go. Yeah, we pushed so hard because we were just like, we need to give ourselves the bet. Tomorrow's the tea day. Tomorrow's the teas. So we're like, we gotta we've push been, today. We've been dreading these teas forever. So we are gonna get some rest. We're probably gonna sleep in a little bit tomorrow so that we can really, I think it'd be important to get ourselves set right for the, the penultimate day. Um, cause I think, you know, as crucial as like the last day seems, you gotta be set up for the last day to even make the attempt. So yeah, sure all do. this thing is just sort of the preamble to the actual attempt of finishing this thing. Yeah. So tomorrow is a huge crucial day. We'll see you then. Bye everybody. Everybody. All I'm gonna do is make people old so I can send them to end this game as soon as possible.
Oh, Nick, Nick, I think is officially. I'm getting. In, I'm getting into the. Uh, I think you're getting into. I gotta get out of this thing. No, no, no. I'm still having a great time, but I'm getting. I'm starting to get wild with it. You're starting to get wild. All right, and that is two, it. Three, two, I will pass. Three, my ring style. Oh. I'm trying to win, baby. I have passed. <sighs> is it me? Yep. Yeah. Stewin. Mm. You got to have stone. Mm, give me this. Ooh, I can't think of <laughs> this. All right, wait. It's just starting to hurt my body. Oh, no. Okay. on the dot Sunday morning but hey we're here we're very close now y'all we uh, decided to stay up extra late because we have this little thing called war of the ring looming over our heads yeah uh, the one ring must be destroyed that's what I'll be trying to do in the morning so yeah. we said like we need to get everything basically that isn't War of the ring done so that we can yeah. dedicate some time in the morning and then we only have literally like there's like 10 like, more games. Like 10 games away. Yeah, there's like 10 more games after that, but they're, especially compared to War of the Ring, nothing. But they're all pretty small, pretty quick. But literally Mount Doom but stands Mount Doom. between us and our goal. How so fitting is that? We were like, yeah, How seriously though, how fitting. We're also massive Lord of the Rings fans. It's one of the first big games we got. It's perfect. It's a perfect way to end. And it's, so, it's how it must end. But so today, we have a, we're in the middle of the tease. We have Zulkin, Terraforming Mars, freaking... Um, Shout out to Board and Dice for bringing the pain today. Seriously, Trismegistus. We have freaking Tekenu, Teotihuacan. Viticulture, underwater cities, big, a lot of, the, most of our biggest, heaviest games are in this section, and we are like, we have to get all of these big, heavy games done before Sunday. We have to, and so it's three o'clock because we just finished Viticulture. <laughs> but that gets us right to just about where we need to be. Yeah. We we literally have War of the Ring first thing, then we're tying up loose odds and ends and uh, driving hard for a 6 p.m. zombie side so we can do live it live stream. on the air. Live You're obviously streaming, watching this baby. after the fact. Hopefully we got there. I Hopefully don't you were there know. during the live stream. I think I we're, we're going to get there. Were. I believe. I hope it was a celebratory event, but we so. don't know yet. So we're going to get some sleep. What little with what little time we have, we're going to get <laughs> some sleep. But we're in the end game now. Yeah. So we just said, you know, what? we got to push. This is the time. This is why we why we did what like we did we earlier this week, week so we can yeah. sleep uh, next week. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right. So let's get some rest. We'll see you in the morning. Oh, yeah. Let's see if we can do this. Pandemic crazy stuff going down. You know what we can do? Play way too many games in a week. That's what we can do. Way too many games in a week. Don't ever do this. Can't control anything else. Don't ever we do, do this. this. Yep. Woo! That's what's up. That's what I'm saying right there. That's the last game we got to play. Well, in the immortal words of Lloyd Christmas, <laughs> we're there. <laughs> How you feeling, man? 
I feel I feel great. Honestly, we got a we got a full night's sleep last night. Oh, it's funny because every God. night progressively we just we got like less and less more, less and less sleep. We had less and less time. Yeah. It was nice to have a full night of sleep. I'm like, like, how are you feeling? I'm feeling really good. Um, I'm still a little tired, but like after all of that, here's the thing about playing board games is it invigorates your mind. So my mind is not mush like I thought no, it would be. No, I'm feeling I'm, great. I'm feeling very spry. Mentally. I could play a game right now. I could play a game right now. Yeah. So that kind of goes to the question a lot of people ask us throughout the thing. Like, aren't you afraid you're gonna get burned out on games? And the answer for me at least was was, yeah, I am afraid of that. Oh, but you're afraid. I wasn't even that afraid of it, but did it happen? No. 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 We literally, last night, after we finished our live stream and we did the last game, we were like, I could play something. I could play something. Like, I, I'm not going to because we want to relax, but like, I could play something. But over the whole thing, did you have a good time doing it? I did. I really did. There was a point halfway through where I was kind of like reflecting on that while we were streaming and saying, this is kind of amazing. Like, I'm having... Like, I'm still having a good time. And then Crystal, our dear friend Crystal, said, like, yeah, it's as if, like, playing board games is your favorite hobby or something. Yeah. And I was like, oh. It's not only our job, it's our right. hobby. Yeah, it's, this is <laughs> this is what I like to do on a, on a free day. If I had a whole free day, like, one of the best things I could think to do would be play games all day. Play, like, 13 yeah. hours of games. So we just got to do that several days in a yeah. row. <laughs> that was that was kind of my thing throughout the whole thing. Like, even, even three, four, five, six days in, the whole time I was just like, man, I really like board games. Like, that's really what I kept coming to. I was like... Yeah, I would like to play this game a little slower. And there are times where I'm just like, yes. I'm tired. I would love to go to bed right now. But at the same time, in the end, like there was, I think it was uh, uh, day five, Friday, we were up very late that night. We were up to like two playing games. Yeah. And we were playing, we were playing, and I was just like, ah. And then we got to Shakespeare, which is one of my favorite games. And, and, like, and I, remember, hmm. I remember the middle of it, I was kind of like, hmm. and I, started, I kind of started doing this. And it was, I was after like 13 hours of straight gameplay. Yeah. And I was still just like, Oh, I'm, gonna go, I'm, gonna get, I'm gonna get a costume to put on my actor, and I'm gonna. I, I started getting back into it, and it was just like, it was it was great. It was really yeah. fun. This whole week served to remind us, I think, like, oh, a we like playing board games. B we like the games we own, and it kind of reminded us that we've really tailored our collection yes. over the last two years with some calling and stuff. So now we have games that we actually really enjoy. They're it's all nice bangers. to know yeah, that's that the, the games thing. we own, we own for a reason. How do we think it went, like technically? Like in the technical sure. aspect of the whole thing. So we played 200 games. We had all this planning and stuff. There's certain things that you think went well, certain things you think didn't go well. Yeah. What would you change, that kind of stuff? Sure. Uh, one thing that I think we would change right off the bat, and we tried doing this at the start, and we had a lot of plans to do more of this and abandoned <laughs> I'm it. I'm so glad we playing abandoned it. Playing multiple games at the same time. We're yes. like, this is gonna be great, it's gonna be funny, we're gonna, we're gonna play all, all of our roles at once. Yeah. It's not good. It's a horrible because idea. Having to switch your mind from channel to channel to channel to channel, and, and then also manipulating things, moving sheets, moving things like that, is not as quick as you think it's going to no, be. It's really, and not. it's certainly not as helpful. And then afterward, your brain is kind of melted because you're having to think of so many different things at once. Yes. So that was one thing we said. You know what? We're going to play things one at a time. We can play them quicker this way. We can play them, have things set up next to each other, yep. maybe. So that was one that was huge. We had a lot of plans to do a bunch of things. We said like, nah, yeah. never mind. <laughs> yeah, especially the roll and rights. I really do think that we started off on a bad foot because that was also the first thing we did was that, yeah. and it took us four hours to play that block. And I think I really think that instead of playing every game at once, if we play, we can still play all our roll and rights at one time, but play them game by game. So like, play all of Welcome Two, then play all of Crisscross, yeah, but yeah. just play the whole thing. I really think that we lost like at least two hours. I think we could have finished all of them in two hours if we had done them individually. If not three hours, that's fine. We still would have saved time. But then after that, it didn't felt, feel like we were going quickly. On Monday, I was really stressed out a lot of the day because I felt like we were way behind. Sure. Because we spent, the first thing we did was spend four hours slogging through. Like over a quarter like, of our day. Yeah, and it, and it was too much. And, and I, I was stressed out. And we ended up being fine, but I, I really think that was a mistake. We were planning on playing like, we're going to play King Domino and Queen Domino at the same time because they're more or less the same game. Don't do that. And we didn't. We played them. You can see the time. You see the timeless. We played one, and then we played the other because we were like, "This does not work." What else? Went well, we preset most of our games. We didn't get to all of them. And one thing was, I don't. We don't know. We'll never know how it, much time it saved. I think it probably is more impactful than we think. But it didn't mean that games didn't take any time to set up no, because you did. still have to take even those preset things out of bags and set them up. So that was something we learned. We're like. It still is, it is yeah. the biggest probably portion of time that adds time to your day. It does. Day. I think what a better idea would be if we ever did this again would be set up, pre-set up the games that we know are going to be big slogs. Like something like Libertalia will take like 10 minutes to yeah. set up be because selective. you have to do certain things for it. But then a lot of other games we really didn't need to. Sure, it would have saved us 20 seconds to set it up pre-hand. Pre 
um, beforehand, but like, it's 20 seconds. Like, obviously we'd be fine. The one thing that was nice was like starting resources because that's something we inevitably will have to go to a book and like look yes. up again and they were just in a bag. So I would really prioritize games like that. Yes. We have a starting amount of something or the setup is specific to a player. I'd be like, I want my things ready to yeah. go so I don't have to remember what those are. Yeah, what I would do is like that and set up the games we think are gonna be really big, bad setups. But then for the rest of them, just leave them how they are and spend that time learn re-familiarizing with games because sure. one thing mike said was like you really realize when you do this the games that you really know yeah. and the games you kind of know because yeah. we spent a lot of time in the book trying Which to figure like stuff out how we always was... end up playing games you end up in a book but you feel the pressure of it oh when you're trying gosh. to be quick like normally like grand Osterie hotel is a great game we love it one thing i can say i never remember what the employees do i it will never happen yeah. for me but they have a quick reference of what everyone does, and that's normally fine. But when I'm speed playing, I was just like, I'm not gonna deal with that many employees unless it has an end game scoring thing that I can readily identify without having to look it up. Yep. So that's one thing you're like, okay, but then there were definitely games, like you said, where we don't know as well, we don't know all the ins and outs of how this thing works, yeah. and especially games that have a lot of like interconnected pieces, and that was a bummer to have to be in the book when you're trying to also yeah, be on the was, clock. Yeah, it was very stressful. Yeah. I think our setup of having the two tables worked really well. Absolutely saved our life. Uh, but like one thing we were originally planning on doing was like having three games set up and playing one turn, one turn, one turn, and, and just going in a big around. circle. Thank God we didn't try that. We that knew, would never have worked. Like, yeah, we knew early on, it's like you're gonna lose time that way because even if it takes two seconds to go over there, you get two seconds to here, to two seconds to here, to two seconds to here, two, it adds up so quick yeah. over a week. It adds up to an immense amount Not of time. Not to mention, you can imagine doing that circle yeah. 14 hours we'd a day, have, we'd have seven quads days. Of steel. Oh man, yeah. But we being really able would. to stand, move our bodies, really helped. Um, it really did. Playing yeah. board games like this for a week, it yeah. will hurt you. Back. My back is sore because of, I was like this so much the week. Right. I tried to sit up straight, but you know, over the span of four, of a, it you just know, sort of like hours, a crumble. You kind of just you, you, yeah. you slowly start dissolving. Yeah. All right, so that's all the kind of stuff that went good, went bad, that kind of stuff. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into some stats. We actually did track everything that we played. You got it. We tracked the time. And a big, big shout out to two of our followers, um, Slivers and David Phillips, who made us a big Excel spreadsheet and put together a bunch of the numbers each day. So we had like graphs that we graphs and stuff that we could put out on social media. All sorts of stuff. It was stuff. super, super cool. But big shout out to them because otherwise we would have had to do it manually and it was would have been a nightmare, but it was very, very easy. So some of the stats, Mike, we played 203 games. I knew that part. Which was really cool. The average time for every, the average time for a game was- Gameplay time. Gameplay time. And they came out, it's not including setup and takedown, it's just time played, was 15 minutes, which is pretty nuts if you really, we were hoping for 30. <laughs> yeah, 15 is pretty good. And we kept saying we think it's gonna be lower and everyone's like, no, it's not. And but. 15 minutes per game. Now again, it's because we did all those rolling rights at we, 14 minutes each. We did all those rolling rights, and on top of that, you can play games real fast if you're just not thinking very hard about no what you're doing. No dumb strats right here. So 15 minutes, the total time we played games, again, this is just gameplay time, was 54 hours. 54 hours of gameplay game time. Play. No set of takedown, not eating, <sighs> not walking intense. from table to table, just sitting, playing a so game. of that week, more than two full days were dedicated to actually yes. playing games. We like did more playing... than a full work week of playing games and nothing else, which is pretty nuts. 54 hours. The longest game for, with, without uh, much surprise was War of the Ring. Who knew? It took 81 minutes. That was the longest game. The shortest game was a tie between The Mind and Point Salad, which both took one minute. The mind, we just did, we, we weren't on the same wavelength and it went no. very quickly. And the point Speed salad, we were literally hard. just like, ha, 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 ha. Yeah. I actually played a pretty good game of point you salad. You did actually play a good fast. game of point salad. Um, the color that was picked most, we tracked player color too. The color that was picked most was blue, was picked 67 times. Makes Which sense. is a lot, because you like to play blue. I do. I'll play blue sometimes It's also as well. in every game. So, okay, color is cool, but what what was our record. Our record is I predicted correctly. I thought you were going to win more games than you did. Okay. Mike won 101 games and I won 86 games. The rest of those games are all co-ops, which we um Ooh. we did we did okay on co-ops. Not not great, but we did okay on co-ops in terms of our win loss. Here's the thing: we won Robinson Crusoe, which is probably the hardest yeah. one we have, and I am I will that's yeah. good enough for me. We, we did, could we lose did, all the rest. We did all right. Honestly, some of the more impressive ones we won, and some of the least impressive ones the ones we lost. Yeah, what are we gonna do? But um, so Mike won more uh, 15 more games, which is not. That's not a huge margin, no. you know? It's like, that's pretty good. It's We're pretty, pretty evenly matched. Pretty equally matched. Now, there are a lot more stats that we have down in the description below. There's gonna be a link 
to um to all of the stats. So if you yeah. are like a stat head, you like this kind of stuff, there'll be all the different games, how long each game took, player colors for each game, all the different kind of stuff, graphs, pie charts, all this kind of crazy stuff down there in the description below. We're not gonna go through everything, but we thought those were some of the more interesting ones. Um, yeah. But wait, wait to win the tournament. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. Hey, I'm happy to Mikey be here. Mikey won the tournament. Um, Let's see if I win next week's tournament. Uh, it'll be fine, but so far, it's just nice to be champion. Yeah, man. I'll get a belt. Got those no dome strats, dude. <laughs> no dome, no dome all day. So that is going to be it. The very last thing we want to do is just thank you all for watching. Thank you for being here. Uh, thank you for the people who watch us on Twitch. Uh, we we leave, live streamed every day for two hours, and that really kept gave us the energy to keep going late into it was the night one of the biggest assists we could have gotten was getting that energy hit getting that excitement from y'all yes. every day it was huge it was huge so if you want to check out our twitch we twitch uh stream every week go to twitch.tv slash the brothers murph we have a lot of fun Indeed. And we have lots of ideas for different challenges. One thing we want to do, which is a goal unlocking our Patreon, was to do giant versions of games. Yeah. Like playing a giant game of field, a giant game of scythe with like big cardboard mechs and all this kind of stuff. We want to do, and that was a goal unlocked by our Patreon. So thank you for, to our patrons for supporting us as well. Uh, if you want to support our Patreon, check out the link in the description below. While you're here, um, subscribe. While you're at it, give this please video do. a thumbs up if you don't mind. And please share it around. If you thought this video was cool, this idea was weird or wacky or whatever, please share it with a friend. Share it around um, anywhere you can. That'd be awesome. And the most important thing, if you have an idea of a challenge that you think would be interesting to see play out, some sort of board game related challenge, put it in the comments below. We already had people say, hey, try to play all of Gloomhaven in a week. So we're gonna try to make that happen uh, at some point coming up. So yeah. let us know your challenges, what you would wanna see, especially if you would like to see that Gloomhaven challenge, let us know so that we can then pass that information along and hopefully make something happen That'd with that. Cool. Uh, but really there's all sorts of big challenges that could, uh, sorry, could happen. Uh, sorry, well, this is unprofessional y'all. Sorry. Uh, hey, Shay, what's up? Shay. Hey, bros, quick question. Uh, how long do you think it would take for us to play Twilight Imperium 4th Edition? I don't know, that's I a big know. game. A long um, time. Think you can do it in an hour? No, no, no. no. Well, maybe. Well, maybe.